To create a schedule to affect a user, a specific user in a lock, first thing you have to do is determine what that user's number is. So to do that, click on the lock that you are going to add the schedule into, and then double click on it. And this will bring up the lock data screen. In this lock data screen, you will see all of the users. It will also show their user number. So find the user in this uh, lock data screen, and then pick their user number. So say you're going to pick a uh, user number 13. You're going to pick this uh, person here. His number is 13 in this specific lock. Now if I move from lock to lock to lock, their user number may be different. So you may have to adjust that specific user's number in different locks. But for this specific lock, the uh, test lock, which is number one, is user number 13. So now you can open up the schedules uh, window and inside the schedules window you set the start time that you want that user's credential to be able to open the door and we're going to change that to 7 a.m. and then to quickly change all of the start times to the same time you right click on that uh, that time and then you set all as current start now you uh, go to the stop time when you want this uh, person's credential to not work and you change that time. So I'm going to change it to 4 p.m. Again, right click on that, start, on that stop time and set all as current stop. Now if you want this to be effective only during a specific month, you change the month or a specific day of the month, you do that as well. Then you uncheck the days of the week that you do not want this schedule to be effective. I want this schedule to be effective Monday through Friday, so I'm going to uncheck Sunday, and I'm going to uncheck Saturday. Now I come down to the schedule entry, and I describe this, um, this event, which is going to be enable user 13, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then I come over to the user or group, and I pick that user's number. As you can see, they're, uh, all of the users that are active in this lock, their numbers are in here. So I'm going to pick number 13. I'm going to enable user of the two uh, events that I have the, to pick from. I'm going to pick enable user because that is what is going to happen at the start time. Then I pick the time zone that I want that individual um, that individual's credential to be active which is time zone number one which is 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I'm going to pick number one switch to schedule view click yes and now you see that Monday through Friday 7 a.m. enable user 13 Monday through Friday 4 p.m. disable user number 13 if this schedule is um, programmed into the lock prior to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, then that user's uh, credential will be disabled after four, or at 4 p.m. and will not be re-enabled until the next day of the week it's active uh, at 7 a.m. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, I hope it was informative and um, you were able to learn something about how to program the uh, Trilogy Locks. If you'd like to learn more about Alarm Lock, you can go to alarmlock.com. You can click on the resources tab and there's a link there so you can download programming manuals. You can watch uh, recorded webinars. You can attend a live webinar. Uh, you can also sign up for my uh, training blog, my technical blog. Uh, if you sign up for it, then anytime I make a post, it will go directly to your inbox. We'll make uh, posts about new, vi new videos, new software, uh, new products, uh, basically anything alarm lock. If there's something that you would like to learn how to do, uh, a topic on the uh, Trilogy Locks or the software, you can send me a, uh, an email at aphelps at alarmlock.com. That's A-P-H-E-L-P-S at alarmlock.com. And I'll do my best to get that video uh, out and post it on this site.